and move over to the breadboard view. We're going to get rid of the breadboard to start and we're just going to use this as sort of a schematic drawing tool and something to document some of the projects that we do. The board that we are starting with is an Arduino board. So if you look over on the right side in core parts, we're going to select that. This is going to be our main view here. Our parts are here and our inspector tells us everything about our parts that we need to know. So let's move over to the core parts tab and select the Arduino tab so that we can select the microcontroller for our program. Once it loads, you can click and literally drag the board over. If you don't like the orientation, you can go down to the bottom left and rotate your object. I'm going to keep mine vertical. From here, I'm going to go back to core parts on the parts menu, and I'm going to put in a resistor and an LED. And this was our first basic sketch that we did in class. We decided to hook up the resistor to pin 13 and bring the other side of the LED to ground. And you can use any of the ground pins that are available on the board for now. We'll keep it simple and use what's available. If you struggle connecting two components together, you can scroll down and look at the breadboard view and find the wire. Once you pull the wire in, you can drag it to your components. This alleviates destroying your components and making them look a little weird. Now that everything is hooked up and wired properly, I can arrange my objects in the way that I'd like. I'm going to right click on this wire and make it black because it's going to ground. Notice that the longer wire here is going to the positive side, which is our output on the Arduino. If you click in the middle, you can actually bend your legs so you can make things look a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to try to create a bend just so that everything lines up. And again, I'm going to actually make this one red just so you can get an idea for the positive and negative side. Okay. Now we have created a simple circuit on the Arduino. We are going to write a sketch to turn this on and off. I'm going to combine two portions of the class and I'm also going to add in our push button. So if we scroll back up to our input tab, we're going to locate this push button here. There's a bunch of different kinds, so make sure that you pick the right one. Okay, this tab and this tab are actually connected. And this pin and this pin are usually connected in this type of switch. So be careful how you wire this up. What I'm going to do is actually rotate this so it's more simple to wire up without making sure I connect the wrong sides. I'm going to put another resistor in and then I'm going to wire one of my input pins. I'm going to choose a smaller one just to keep them differentiated and I'm going to connect that to one side of this board. I'm going to also connect another edge here and then lastly this particular pin is going to have to go to positive. So here I'm going to go to 5 volts and I need to insert another wire here to connect this resistor to ground. Okay. So now I've created a pull down resistor. I'm going to make this wire black. I'm also, I'm going to keep that red and this wire also I'm going to make black just to help me remember that it's a pull down resistor and not a pull up resistor. Okay. So now I'm going to even out my wires just to make it more visually appealing. And I will rotate this component so that things line up uh, just a little bit nicer. 
And you'll see this leg actually comes together pretty nicely as I can wrap it around the ground. All right. So now what I've done is created an input here for the light to turn on and off using the Arduino as our input. You're welcome to double check on the Arduino website. And if you look at the button page, you can see all of the things that go into this particular project and some example code. So if you want to double check your sketches, make sure that you have everything aligned, please do so. And as I go back, I realize that I've looked at my switch sideways. So this is really easy. If you don't like a wire, you can just delete that wire. And same thing goes for right here. So what I actually want is these two to go to the same pole. See how if I highlight here, it says switch pin. Uh, switch pin one is connected always to two. And I want to make sure that those go together. So I could run this around, or I'm just going to simply rotate my object this way. I'm going to move this to this pin make sure it connects and now I can add that wire in between here and now I know that everything is connected properly this pin can then move down to here make sure that it's connected okay and that's pretty tricky if you want to line these up you can always hold shift and it will make a straight line so it's not aligned to the grid. Same thing here. I'm gonna hold shift and make sure that everything gets lined up. Okay. And simply drag my component over. And if I'd like, I can add a bend point. Okay, so now everything lines up nice and square. And I feel pretty good about this drawing. So just double check your push button to make sure it's all aligned. And you can always check the projects on the Arduino website to make sure that you're uh, doing everything properly. It's a great resource. So once you have here this completed, you have the first step to our project done. We can file, save as, 